Hi there, guys. My name is Beverly Reynolds, and I absolutely have something very exciting to share with you today. Now, a lot of you already know me as the essential oils chick. I am a young living essential oils distributor, and I've been like that for, well, six months. So that means I'm not only new to sales, but I'm new to network marketing, and I'm new to being a distributor. So at that, I've got something really, really exciting to share with you guys today that you probably may not be aware of. So let's compare that for just a moment. I've got kind of an analogy for you. You go to a movie. That movie is so invigorating that you just want to share it with every single one of your friends. That's that feeling that I have today. Now, what I have to share with you, I have a top 10 list of things that I find absolutely life-changing as a part of being a member of the Grant Cardone Sales University 10X Mentor Program, right? Okay, so hang with me here. I've got a top 10 list of things not only that I've learned, but ways that I've applied that. And I don't want to just tell you. I want to show you guys absolutely hands on. I've got some props here that I, want, that I really want to help illustrate this point for you. So let's start with number 10, right? 10 is a great place to start. I'm going to start with the selling basics, right? I had never been in sales, so sales basics <laughs> seemed like the logical place for me to start. And one of the things that you will hear if you've been through any of Grant Cardone's programs or you've read any of, it, read any of his books, rather, he's huge into massive action. Don't be normal. Be extraordinary. Take massive action. So one of the ways I've been doing that is not just through my essential oils business, but to be taking massive action by making a difference in other people's lives. In my case, through pageantry. So back in October of this year, I actually had the opportunity to compete at the national level and became Miss All Nations America. In August, so backing up just a little, little bit, I gave up my other national title and I was Miss USS America. All right, so you can see here my sash. So I'm really, really proud of that. But it wasn't just the fact that I gave up my title. It was the fact that I got to be a role model for other girls. I got to MC the entire pageant, in fact, co MC it, and go backstage and talk to those girls about how to be taking massive action, whether it's their confidence and or their attitude, because that is projected in every aspect, not just the little catwalk. All right, so that's number 10. Number nine is customer care. Now, part of customer care is not just shaking the hands of the person who you happen to run into on the street or you know, prospecting face-to-face -face as you cold call or you go visit businesses and really just get to know them and their very lives and finding that need that you can serve. But part of that is to create that connection, whether online or in person. Speaking of online, for my four Facebook pages, my personal page has grown by 700 people in just three and a half weeks. That's all thanks to your program. Beyond social media, in fact, I can advertise on social media that I've created professional packets to hand out to people when I do presentations for them. I want to make sure that how I look and how I present not just my business, but also my essential oils products, but I give each person a personalized folder and it generally has, it depends on the moment, but it may have a brochure, may have a little magnet, my business card, and maybe anything else that I think that they would benefit, perhaps from our previous conversation as well. Which then brings me to number eight, and that's understanding the buyer, understanding the person that you are talking to and meeting that need. Sometimes that is a matter of sending them a personal gift, maybe even a CD or other personalized gift, Maybe it's just songs that are great for them. Things that you've learned that creates that connection. The next thing I have is number seven, and that's closing strategies. Offering to meet them where they're at. Maybe in that conversation, you learned that, hey, they love the blend of Christmas spirit. So I remember I have an essential oils business. So maybe I would give them an essential oils-based product of bath salts, a sample, Hey, thanks for what you did. Hey, by the way, I noticed that you had an article in the newspaper and your business is absolutely soaring. Way to take massive action. Way to recognize and again, creating that and affirming that relationship. Number six is prospecting. Now, I don't have with me a chocolate boot, but I absolutely love where you told me, hey, why not send them a, a chocolate boot? Get your foot in the door. All right. One of the ways that I choose to prospect 
is to give your name out to people because I think that there's power in the name. So as I'm taking the Cardone University classes, I tell people, you know what? I am a certified person in the sales training program. Hey, look, check this out. I earned my beginner or my intermediate or my advanced certificate. Power in a name. The next thing I want to talk about is number five, and that is follow-up. It's important to not just, you know, talk, talk and touch base with a customer or a potential customer or somebody that is absolutely going to buy, and you are so sure of that. You've got to not only be sure of the sale, but keep hitting them with different types of media. So recently I sent out a large mailing, right? So I got my mailing envelopes. I've got my stamps. I've got my personalized letter that I then added a personalized note onto each one and sent it to every single member of the Chamber of Commerce. A lot of times I'll give them my business card, maybe a magnet, something that they can keep and they can tack up on their refrigerator and they can pass multiple times a day to remember Beverly Reynolds, the essential oils chick. I want to make a name. I want to come out of anonymity. The next thing I want to talk about is number four, and that is the sales process. Being new to sales within, in fact, I just closed on my sixth month in sales ever. I've always been the IT chick. And now I'm going, you know what? I want to be the essential oils chick, that eccentric essential oils chick. And when I told my family and my friends, hey, you know what? <laughs> I want to do network marketing. I want to give up that stability because I know that I can have success. I know that I believe in my customers. I believe in the interactions. And I believe in my own abilities to make a difference in the health and wellness of those around me. So I want to make sure that I am dressing for success. I want that visual to say, hey, you know what? She's the girl that had that crazy necklace on or, <laughs> or she's the one that just really looked sharp. She had it going on. All right. So another way that I do that is I try to coordinate my outfit. You notice here today that I've got a red shirt on with my red glasses. I try to coordinate it all together. I've got pink glasses when I wear pink. I've got purple when I wear purple and I've got blue when I wear blue and a brown pair in case none of those really fit. I want to make sure that I leave a lasting impression for the right reasons. The next thing is I want to share my dreams. I want to dress for success. I want to have rules of success. It's not just good enough to have the look, but I want to have rules of success and I want to live by those rules. Now, one of the things that you will notice if you know me at all, or if you've gotten to see me on social media, is that I'm huge into reading books. I'm huge into books on tape because I do a lot of driving right now. So I go through every single type of training. I've got the Grant Cardone books on tape. I've got his books. I've got pretty much every network marketing professional that you could possibly think of, either in my car, in my home library, and probably a combination thereof. Reading is really important. So if you were to come and invite me on to sort of a contraband type show, <laughs> In my bag, you'd find books and books and books because I am not the norm. I love to read. It didn't always used to be that way. So thank you for motivating to get on that bandwagon. Number two is staying motivational and following my goals. I've got lots of reminders. In this case, I met my goal, right? So I've got things to remind myself of having success. Why am I doing that? What is my why? I've got a, a vision board that's up in my office. You can't see it here, but I keep that around so that I can look up and I can go, yep, that is exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing. Whether it's pictures of my family, pictures of vacation spots, pictures of being in pageantry and helping others and inspiring others, um, pictures of the cross because my faith is absolutely paramount to everything that I do. And the final thing is to living a 10x lifestyle. Not just being in the 10x mentorship program, but also to give, give, give. One of my goals is to quit my job <laughs> and go from almost no sales to quitting my IT job and truly being able to have that time flexibility to then train others for duplication. So I've got a bumper sticker that I think really says it all. And this may be backwards to you guys, but success is my duty. None other than Grant Cardone actually said those words. So at that, I wanted to let you know that those are some of my top 10 items that I've learned from being a part of Grant Cardone's Sales Training University Online. 
So now let me just talk briefly about some of my wins. In December 2017, I went from making $500 in sales because I was brand new, no sales training experience for five months. I was flatline to making well over $1,000 in sales just last month, right? So it doesn't sound like a big win, but you know what? I'm not going to compare myself to everybody else's million dollar processes, even though it's easy to do. I want to actually make a name for myself. And even if that means being gradual, but going in the right direction, I'm going to do that by massive action going out of, as I said before, anonymity. So with that, I've also had some other successes because just like these little bracelets say, where it says, I met my goal. I've been meeting the 10X challenges and finding new ways of getting income and selling things that I don't need that are just around my house collecting dust. So I just want to share with you and actually show you through props and some fun items here, what I've been doing to really not just make a difference in the life of me, my family, my son, myself, but also those in the community as well. Because when you make a difference in your own life and you have that financial freedom, you can go out and you can make a difference to others as well. So with that, I just wanna say thank you for everything that you've done for me, for my family, for my lineage, in fact. And hey, let's do this. I can't wait to see you guys in Vegas in February of 2018. And I am so excited to be a mentor in your organization and for your companies. Thanks, guys. Bye.